Hey, hello guys. Welcome back to another exciting lecture program of Kerry Robbins. So, how are you all? And let me know in the comment section whether you are learning something new out of our series or not. So, today we are going to speak about technical master data of SAP ISU FICA, which is uh, nothing but you know, you know, the price installation and move-in process of contra contracts, etc. So, before we start, again the same. Uh, please do like, subscribe, or share. Kar do and comment. Kar do, yeah. It might help others and help you as well. Thank you. Let's start. Okay, so I'm trying to explain that uh, we can create a premise by using the T code ES60 and just pass the connection object number there and type of premise and you can create the premise. Once we create the premise, we will go to create the installations. Okay, to create the installations, the T code is uh, ES30, okay. Now here, uh, you need to put the division. Uh, I put uh, EM or based on your configuration, you can use the division. Now here we are using the EL as the division key date. I'm just putting first of January 2023 and enter. Just pass the premise number here. And uh, we'll discuss in detail what is billing class if we'll time permits. Okay. Uh, or yes, you can do, we have a YouTube uh, channel where we put all the details in video. Uh, you can uh, go there and you can watch the videos that is free. Like you can watch the videos there. Uh, it's it's only, I am explaining and that is recorded and put there under the uh, billing uh, training. Okay. So, uh, you can use the uh, rate type. Uh, rate category will be there. Then uh, the magnitude will be the meter reading unit. So the meter reading unit, I put as MRU, that is uh, pre-configured. Then you save this. Now the installation get created. Okay. So the installation is Two I all zeros one six. So ES thirty two is to display the installation. Now, if you go to the environment, you can see the the technical data. Now, the technical data you can see connection object, premise, and installation. Whereas the business data you can see business partner and contract account so we have uh, technical data we have uh, business master data now we need to integrate them so how we need to integrate them by doing the moving okay so let's study something about moving and then we'll back so so that was our initial discussion for the day. So when we do a move-in, it creates a contract. But what is move-in? Move-in is just connecting the business master data and technical master data under the agreement. So how the move-in process happen? The first thing will be there should be a uh, property. There should be a premise and all the stuff would be there. And then for behalf of that property, a customer will come and request for the services. Once the customer will come, what will happen? We'll create the business partner, contact account, all these business master data. Okay. Then that person is saying, okay, I'm okay with that. All the details are okay. Then we should go for the contract. Contract means moving. Once the contract will happen, we'll take the initial meter reading. Now, because... Uh, uh, if it's a meter based consumption, we need to take the initial meter reading and we'll validate with a date. So, initial meter reading would be taken on a particular date. 
Okay. Once all this stuff is done, uh, and if the security money is there, then we'll send a uh, welcome letter. Security money, because the there will be service charges, and to create a trust as well, the customer need to pay the security amount. Okay. And based on the customer's request, whether he wants a budget billing or a uh, different kind of customer contract, we'll send him all those details and we set up that during the moving. Now, what what is now what what is a budget billing? Budget billing is a request so from the customer. So most of the companies actually do that. So what happened? The general invoices are different on different months. So what happened that in January, if you consume more energy, the invoice would be different. In Feb, it would be different. So based on your consumption, the invoice amounts will be different. But if somebody will request that, okay, I'll pay uh, equal amount every month. Okay. So then that is called average monthly budget billing, AMB. In that case, as you mentioned, we divide them equal amounts throughout the year for 11 uh, months and final month would be the plus out. Plus out means, means we'll, we'll clean it up whether there will be a debit or credit amount we need to pay or receive. We'll, we'll clean it up and then again next year we'll set another budget billing. Okay. But whereas budget billing plan is a bit different. Budget billing plan is like the customer is requesting I'll pay January 50 rupees, pay 250 rupees. March may be a taxation year a month, so I'll pay 500 rupees. For April, it may be 100 rupees like that. Based on each request, you create a plan or based on his history of consumption, you create a plan and allocate that at the contract level. So that is called a budget billing plan. Now both A and B, uh, average monthly budget billing or BBP budget billing plan are allocated during the moving. Okay. And finally, there will be smart. Uh, any questions on that? I hope uh, definition is okay for now. Okay. Uh, so welcome letter. That's a letter generated from the uh, from the uh, utility company and give to the customer once. That later is uh, uh, arrived to the customer, the move-in is complete. So the T code for move-in is EC50E. Okay. Now we need to do the move-in. Yeah, we can do the move-in past date and in future date both. But if you do a move-in in future date, what will happen? You can't see the the whole structure, whole uh, master data structure link till the date arrived in the system. Okay, so now we have two data. One is business master data. And from business master data, I'm taking 900520. So you can see there are two tabs. One is date tab, and afterwards we have two tabs. One is contract account and customer. There. There is a segment called business partner. I'll put the business partner there, 900520. And in the second segment, we have uh, technical data. You can pass the premise or installation, depend on your um, means understanding. You can pass the installation as well. So let's see the technical data. In technical data, we have installation 25 all zeros one six. There are four zeros, so you can pass here two, five, four zeros, and then, okay, sorry, a one, six. So I'll put that. Oh. Something stuck. Yeah. Okay. So this one is over. Now, just press enter. It will take you to the next screen. 
So it is asking, <clears throat> do you want to adopt the existing contract account for the business partner, which one I passed? I'm telling yes. Why it is asking? Because a single business partner may have multiple contract accounts. So that's how this uh, pop-up coming. Okay. No premise could be determined for this moving parameter. It's wrong because we have a premise as well. So let's see the premise. What is the premise here? The premise number is 7530017. Sometimes it's happened 7517. Yeah, that's there. I don't know, the server may be a bit slow. 75017, copy then, I copy think. and paste. That would be the best one. Okay. Enter. Already selected. Okay. Let me remove one of the uh, technical data. So what happened if there are multiple informations, it may create problem. And if there is primary already selected. Okay, let me put six. No premise. No, no. Seven. Okay. Click on moving. Okay, that should work. No, let's go. Yeah, so now we are into a moving screen and uh, you can see we have different different tabs here. The first tab is holding all the details of the business partner, the addresses, and if you put some bank data or other stuff that is also need to put, put there. Okay, and similarly, uh, bank details, if something is required, you need to put that. Payment data, like uh, whatever we put into the contract account that is reflecting here. Okay, 
then contract. Contract is the agreement which we are creating. So here you can see the account determination ID we need to define. And there we can recollect we define uh, 0, 01 the account determination ID and that need to be defined here as well. Apart from there, we have a joint invoicing process here. So joint invoicing is combining the invoices. So we have three options here whether we'll create uh, invoice jointly other or individually either or or we must be invoiced uh, separately so those things are uh, defined here we are considering three to create the invoice so now this is the welcome letter what we mentioned we don't have any uh, welcome letter or application forms here but in a uh, real uh, real scenario you need to put application form here which will generate a welcome letter and send to the customer. Okay, so as we don't have anything, I'm just putting a cross here. No. Okay. Do you cancel? Yes, uh, we, we don't have any welcome letter. Now the moving is created with a moving document 228. All right. So let's move to our data model now this is your data okay now you can see the data is changed previously only connection object premise and installations are there now you have um, connection object premise installation contract contract account is there and business partner is also linked so the whole structure is getting created and moving is done Okay, Any and uh, from a FICA perspective, our our target is contract account, business partner, and contract. So these three are actually financial stuff which are impacted, and uh, mostly contract account is our primary target because whatever the data we are passing there, those old data is get configured under FICA. Okay, for the next session probably tomorrow for move out and uh, basic organizational structure.